I have a question for you. What do these two Roblox games have in common? I'll give you a sec, make your guesses, take it all in. All right, time's up. The answer is both these game pictures were created by <laughs> computers, non-human generated art. Now this is a hot button issue for a lot of people. There's a lot of artists out there that feel like AI generated art. It's stealing away customers. And not only that, it's bland, it's boring. But I'm not here to talk about any of that. I'm only here to deliver the facts. And the facts are that we are about to enter World War III. I have a prediction that AI generated game pictures will become a new standard across the board for a majority of Roblox games. Reason one, it's cheap. Nothing gets cheaper than free. Number two, it's easy. What's easier than just typing random words into a text box? Nothing. And number three, they look pretty good. Oh, hell. Guys, trust me, I'm the last person who wants to admit that AI-generated slop looks decent, but it does. You're talking about a guy who makes Roblox thumbnails every single day of his life. You think I want to let a computer do that? Yes, I would love that. No, it's not perfect. Well, think about this. What if you got a two-person Roblox dev team? Both people are really good at programming, but they just got no artists. They don't have any capital, they don't have any money, and they need a way to market their game. I know this sounds like doomsday scenario, but I don't think AI is all bad. But it can be. Let me give you an example of a bad way to use AI. I would consider slapping the same AI generated texture over multiple pieces of clothing. That might be a bad way of using AI. But that's just an example. I'm not I'm not naming any names here, but you know, you know, you know I'm just giving an example. Just one example out of a lot out of many examples, you know, there's like so many now, the program everyone's using to make these AI-generated images is called Dolly 3. The program Dolly has been out for a while, but just recently, it was incorporated with Bing. And I think you can just, anybody can just use it for free, which is why you're seeing this huge influx. There was this trend going around where people would put, like, the, a game picture for a Roblox game in and see what the AI spit out. And what the AI was spitting out was very high quality. Why did the AI give them abs? Damn, I messed up. I don't know if he told the AI to do that but this picture doesn't have abs and then the AI just like they're like I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest iPhone 15 giveaway. It's so good at, at the lighting. I can't even really blame Roblox devs for doing this, but I found a bunch of examples. You'll want to see them. We got Jail Simulator. Super realistic. This game's called Bathroom Cameraman. It's just a skibbity toilet game, and they, I think they changed the name because they're worried that the skibbity toilet guy is going to come sue them, which they're probably right. He probably will do that. But this is AI generated. This guy got busy, and he joined every AI generated game he could find village defense mega noob simulator skate park tsunami's disaster survival restaurant tycoon and then power slap simulator you got the dwayne the rock johnson in roblox even though these do look good the things that give it away is the same type of like lighting in the background it, it looks like the most beautiful render we're gonna do a roblox speed run we're gonna see how long it takes me to find an ai generated game picture go that one, right there. That has to be AI. Zombie Apocalypse. Dude, that could be AI. This game has zero players. No, Bobby, you want that toy? That toy? This is what I'm talking about, guys. Giving small devs the opportunity to market themselves. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why is this one running at me? Ah! If it wasn't for AI-generated imagery, I would have never found this beautiful experience. Dude, I'm really good at killing baby zombies. Banana. Banana. AI speed run, go. Okay, we're looking for bright, soft edges, clean renders. What was that? What's that? 17 only? Chill vibe? That's AI. Another game with zero players. So far, it's just a bunch of dead games using this strat. I can't tell if this is AI. And I think that's part of the scary thing about the AI-generated pictures. I can't always tell if it's AI. This one, Kick Door Simulator. 
That might be AI. And there's one in particular. I was almost positive was AI, but I couldn't be sure. And because I didn't want to lie to you guys. I didn't want to tell you something was AI when it wasn't and give somebody a bad rep. But because the guy who made the game was my friend, I contacted him. And he said that I could share this information with you all. So here we go. I'm talking about this game, Thief Simulator. Now, at first glance, this does not look like AI. This just looks like a well-made game picture. And I wanted to say, I was like, it, that's AI. That's got to be AI because you can tell because the fingers, look at the fingers. The way that they're shaded, it just gives off that, that Dolly 3 AI generated vibe to it a little bit. So I was like, all right, I got to hit him up. I got to ask, is this really AI? And you know what he said? You know what he said? He said, Yep, that's AI. And before you get mad, before you get mad, my friend who co-owns this game, he is good at making games. You want to know what else he's good at? He's good at making game pictures. You remember this game? Fish game? This right here? This was made by the guy who made Thief Simulator. So he wasn't taking any jobs away from anybody. If he was going to use a picture for his game, he was the one that was going to have to make it. Part of the reason I couldn't tell if this was AI is because it's so clean. Like nothing inherently looks wrong with it. I could barely tell it was AI. That's why half the time I'm looking at these like, this one looks like AI, but I can't tell. It could not be. And look, boys, I'm not here saying AI is good. AI is bad. Personally, I think the technology is kind of cool, but I also don't think it completely takes away from true artists and like a true vision. But I think everybody can agree that there is a line. You can't just outsource everything to AI. You can't just type in, make an interesting video into a text box and it'll pop up. It won't give you anything. What you will be left with is something devoid of creativity and life. Kind of like this guy. I decided to make a virtual version of Quibble Cup. However, However, I made a mistake. I thought people would love Crobocop AI as much as I do, both for its exciting time. If AI generated game pictures and entire AI generated YouTube videos isn't enough for you, why don't you just make an entire AI generated game? For those of you who forgot, this year at Roblox Developer Conference, among other things, they also talked about this new AI system where you'll just be able to, you know, type in, hey, make a make a tree, and it spawns a tree that probably, you know, is extremely poor poorly optimized and has virus scripts inside of it. I cannot wait to just type everything into a text box and have no creative control and not know really how the game is working. AI generated code is a whole other thing that I don't, I don't even know. Right now, I would say AI is much better at making pictures than it is making programs that work. <laughs> but yeah, I hope this video scared you and I hope that you have nightmares about robots coming to take your job. Die!